Stories from the Quran Surah Lahab Once upon a time, it was an early morning in the city of Mecca. Everyone was sound asleep as Muhammad wasallam woke up and climbed Mount Safa. Then, all of a sudden, in the early quiet morning, Muhammad wasallam started to scream, Ya Sabah! Ya Sabah! Which means, Oh, morning disaster! Everyone from every house started to come out to hear Prophet Muhammad wasallam because they thought that there was an enemy that was coming to attack them. Then the Prophet asked, If I tell you that behind this hill there was an enemy ready to attack you, would you believe me? Everyone said yes, because he never said a lie. Then Muhammad wasallam said, If you don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a big punishment will come to you. Then his uncle, Abu Lahab, became very mad and said, You called us for only that? You should die! Then he threw a stone at the Prophet Muhammad At that time, Abu Lahab was very rich and a powerful person in Mecca, so he could get away with doing many bad things. One day, Abu Lahab asked the Prophet, Would I get anything special if I became Muslim? The Prophet Muhammad explained that in Islam, everyone is the same and there is no special class for the rich. Abu Lahab became very angry and cursed the religion of Islam. Abu Lahab used to live next door to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Abu Lahab always used to give the Prophet a hard time. Sometimes when he was praying, Abu Lahab put dirty goat stomach all over him. Sometimes Abu Lahab threw dirty trash in his food. Before Islam came, Abu Lahab's two son were married to Prophet Muhammad wasallam's two daughters. When Muhammad wasallam started to invite people to Islam, Abu Lahab ordered his two sons to divorce their wives and they divorced them because they were Muhammad wasallam's daughters. Whenever Muhammad wasallam called people to Islam, Abu Lahab followed him and told the people very bad things about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Abu Lahab had a very sick mentality. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's second son died, Abu Lahab became extremely happy because Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not have any more sons. In the seventh year of his prophethood, the Quraysh, who were non-Muslims, used a boycott on the Muslims. That boycott continued for long three years. Most of the time, the Muslims did not have any food. If some salesmen came from other cities, Abu Lahab told them not to sell anything to the Muslims. So, to make the salesmen happy, he himself bought all the things from the salesmen. For his actions, even little children used to starve because they did not have any food. Abu Lahab's wife, Umm Jamil, was also a very bad woman. Most of the night, she put some thorns at Muhammad Wasallam's door so he and his family, as well as his children's feet, used to be pricked and it bled by those thorns. One time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Surah Lahab 
to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When Abu Lahab's wife Umm Jamil heard about this surah, she became very angry. She took a stone with her and looked for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to hurt him. Abu Bakr peace be upon him and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sitting next to the Kaaba. When Muhammad peace be upon him saw her coming, he started to read the Quran. Then a miracle happened. She saw Abu Bakr, but she could not see Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and left. She was so evil that she wanted to sell her most expensive necklace just to hurt the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Later on, Abu Lahab had a very bad skin disease. Seven to eight years after Surah Lahab was revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Battle of Badr started. When he heard that the Muslims won the battle, he was very shocked. He became very sick with the pox. Within seven days, he died because of that pox. After his death, no one went into his room for three days. because his disease was very deadly his body was completely rotten and had a very bad smell when he died his family didn't even touch his body so his family members hired some slaves to bury his body then they pushed the body into a pit with a large stick and covered it with stone and mud Abu Lahab hated Islam the most but alhamdulillah his daughters and his two sons became Muslims Stories from the Quran Fun facts about Surah Lahab Number 1 Abu Lahab's wife Umm Jamil was the sister of Abu Sufyan Number 2 Abu Lahab's brother was Hamza peace be upon him. Number 3. Abu Lahab's two sons were married to of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's daughters. Number 4. After Abu Lahab's death within a few years all of his children accepted Islam. Number 5. Abu Lahab was the fourth most richest man in Mecca. Number 6. Abu Lahab's original name was Abdul Uzza. And finally, number 7. The meaning of Abu Lahab is the father of flame because of his beauty and charm. Our goal is to make all of these resources available for free to anybody anywhere. And we can do that because of your support. We are a non-profit organization, and in our website, you can help us by giving us a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter of the whole thing.